guys, we're going to read um, chapter 40 in the Bridge Home, Hope. I'm going to visit a place I'd love for you to see, Selena Auntie told me the next day. So you're excused from attending lessons. I shrugged like it didn't matter one way or another, but I felt myself flush with pleasure. She'd chosen me to go somewhere with her as a special treat. She drove us to a white bungalow, three stories high, an oasis of calm in the midst of all the noise and bustle. An oasis is like a paradise. Like, um. Selena Auntie smiled as she parked the car. This is a school for children like Ruku. Children like Ruku, anger spurted out of me. No one's like Ruku, I yelled, no one. Ichi. I put that very badly, Selena Auntie bit her lip. There is no one in the world like your sister. I didn't mean those words to sound the way they did. I'm sorry. I screwed up my eyelids tight so no tears would fall out. I have a sister, Vigi, a sister with a disability. My eyes flew open. We never were as poor as the two of you, but we weren't rich either. She came to this school. It's a school for young people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. For a while, I said nothing, but her words were a key opening my locked heart. Where's your sister now, Selena Auntie? She works at a print shop. She used to have her own little place at the other end of the city, but recently she got married and moved farther away. We meet as often as we can. Will you take me to see your sister sometime? Sure. Now, are you ready to go in, VG? Yes, and I'm sorry for yelling. Everyone in the building greeted us with smiles and vanicums. Everyone seemed to know and like Selena Auntie. We were shown into an office sitting behind a desk beneath a picture of the Hindu god Ganesha was a wiry young woman. Um, do you know what the word wiry means? Um, it means like a wire, so like very lean or thin. Um, or it could be referring to hair, like wiry hair. It's like wire, but I'm pretty sure it means very thin woman. She sprang up and pressed her palms together in greeting. VG, this is the director, Selena Auntie said. Dr. Donham. Call me Donanem Auntie VG. Come. Let me show you around. We followed Donanem Auntie into a sunny, high ceilinged room. We stayed by the door, peeking in. A boy around my age was sprawled across the floor, drawing on a large sheet of paper. A little girl of maybe seven or eight was playing with colored blocks. In the center of the room, a few children of all ages sat on straw mats on the floor, listening to a silver haired teacher who sat, who sat cross legged, reading aloud from a picture book. Some of the children looked up at us curiously. You could have been among them. You could have been here at this school, learning from teachers who'd pay proper attention to you. A silent flood of tears rushed down my cheeks. No one seemed to notice I was crying except the girl with the blocks who marched over to me. Don't cry, she commanded, come and play with me. Um, so here is a good example of um, empathy. The little girl who doesn't even know VG stopped what she was doing to go and um, make VG feel better because she saw that she was crying, okay? And that's something that we can do too. If you see somebody who's upset, go see if you can talk to them and see if you can make them feel a little better. All right, let's keep reading. Thanks, I said to her, trying to swallow my sobs and hold my voice steady. I'll come and play for a bit. Why are you thanking me? Her forehead wrinkled in confusion. I didn't give you anything. I was sad. You made me feel better. I made you better. Her face glowed like a moon. It's a good um, simile, meaning she like lit up. She was excited. Face glowed like a moon. And her cheek, or her plump cheeks dimpled. I made her better, she announced to Donanem Auntie. Who is she anyway? This is Vigi, 
Selena Auntie said. I'm Lalitha. Come, Lalitha took me by the hand and led me to a full, a shelf full of painting supplies. Let's paint, she decided. We must put newspaper on the floor so it doesn't get messy. The two of us spread out the paper and started working. At least I did. Lalitha selected a brush and chewed on its end thoughtfully. I dipped my brush in the paint and tried to draw a yellow circle for the sun. Lalitha was watching, which made me nervous because I wasn't the best painter. The lines I drew for the sun's rays came out pretty wobbly. I dropped a bit of blue paint on the bottom by accident, so I smeared it and made a river. Across it, I painted a bridge. On the bridge, I painted four stick figures. What's that? Lilitha put her finger on one of the figures. A person, I said. You are a person. I am a person. She wagged her finger at me. This is not a person. It's the best I can do. What are you going to paint? I can paint well, Lilitha said. Watch. She swished her brush around on the paper making a yellow, a great yellow blob in the top right corner. Is that the sun, I asked? No, Vigi, the sun is outside. This is just a big yellow dot. Right, I smiled. So we painted dots and lines in all kinds of shapes. We made a mess and had just as much fun cleaning up, skating on the wet floor after we'd mopped. That was the best painting class ever, I told Lolitha when it was time for me to leave. Thanks. Come back, she said. I'll teach you some more. So nice. On the way home, I asked Selena Auntie, can I go there again and maybe work at the school? Sure, Selena Auntie said. I may be able to arrange for you to assist the teachers when they need an extra hand. Maybe help with reading or writing or art, and maybe someday you could even teach there. Since you'd gone, I hadn't given a thought to my dream of becoming a teacher. Selena Auntie's words made my dream glimmer again, faint and far away, but not lost. That's really nice because she's remembering what her purpose was, like what she wants to do um, with her life. Uh, so here's our exit ticket question. Explain how Vigi's trip to the school affected her. So what happened because she went to that school? Um, well, I think that one of the things that happened was that um, her spirits were lifted. She felt better after going there, and it helped her to also find her purpose again, that she wants to be a teacher because um, she wants to help kids. And by going to that school, it reminded her of um, her dream of doing that. Um, she was also affected because she seemed to feel a little more confident and um, happy with herself right now, um, which she hadn't been for a while. Um, so yeah, all right, I look forward to seeing your exit ticket answers and I will see you for chapter 41. Bye.